showing, 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 showing. So this is the fun part, okay? So you present at your home. Um, you've set up either your lockbox or you've arranged to meet the potential buyer at the property to show it. And this is the time where you can really shine, right? Like this is the time where you can show your property off and, you know, really explain all of the features to the buyer and, you know, sell that thing, right? Like get it sold. So let's see. So we've talked about how you're going to, how you're going to show it. So you're either going to do a, like a master lock key box. You're going to do electronic lock or you're going to be at every showing or you're going to do like some kind of like hide a key, right? You're going to take the buyer through. I, I think it might be effective to maybe put together some kind of like feedback survey. And this could be like on paper or it could be electronic. Um, and then that way you can kind of get an idea of like what people think of the property, right? In a, let's see, in a, by asking the same questions consistently, basically. So, you know, you probably want an idea of like, you know, do they, are they excited about the property? Do they think the pricing looks good? Are they interested in making an offer? And yeah, I mean, those are probably like the big things. And then maybe if they have any suggestions, I mean, I can, I feel like it's a double-edged sword, right? But I mean, I think if you're, you know, truly invested in making the sale, it would be worthwhile to sort of hear like, oh, blah, 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 whatever. The lighting sucked or, you know, and then at least, at least, you know, the impression that you're putting on people and you can also then make a decision about whether or not you want to address it or if you want to just say, hey, it, it's meant to be like that, you know? Um, so, yeah, so now you have to sort of figure out like, what is your style like? I think that... You know, most buyers, maybe, maybe these buyers, buyers should be different. I feel like most buyers, you know, they want to be able to like really like experience the home without the seller. Um, and I think that there's sort of like a few things behind that, right? Like they want to be able to sort of like express their sense of the property, like openly without having to worry about like hurting somebody's feelings, you know? Um, and... I think sometimes that's difficult to do, like if you're the seller and you're standing right there. All right. So um, I think there's that, right? Like I think that people are actually, you know, believe it or not, like sensitive to, to your feelings. Um, so maybe I feel like the tour could go by like a couple different ways. It just sort of depends on the house. It depends on if you're living in it. It depends on if, you're, if it's vacant or whatever. But you may want to kind of do like a overview, like just take them around and give them a couple of highlights and then, you know, leave them and let them like walk around and explore. You may want to let them just kind of explore like sort of like an open house style, like let them walk in the house, take a look around. And then when they come back, like have them fill out the feedback survey and just sort of get an idea of what they think. Um, maybe that survey would have contact information i mean i don't know it's going to depend on your style like would you want to follow up with them right like would you want to like email them would you want to like give them a call and just say like hey what are you thinking you know do you think it could work for you i mean that depends a little bit on your style so you may want to and they may or may not give you that information yeah I, like you know i just feel like a like i have to say something about safety here like there's just a little safety thing to me Right? Like, you don't really, like, know these people. They haven't really been, like, vetted. So you'd have to sort of think about, like, what your vetting process is. Like, you know, do you ask them the COVID exposure questions before they come over? Do you tell them they have to wear a mask? Do you ask to see their ID? Wow, geez. You know, like, you'd have to sort of decide what you feel comfortable with, right? Um, right? Because you're going to have some people that are represented by agents, which I think that's maybe a little bit easier. I mean, obviously, someone could impersonate an, an agent or whatever, like, scandal. But most agents, I think, are, like, legitimately who they say they are. Um, 
and the people that are not represented. Yeah, I mean, I think you'll just have to decide what you feel comfortable with. Yeah. And yeah, and then just do the tour. Get it done. Get some feedback. Um, the, uh, the thing that I forgot to mention is this, so like we're not doing open houses now, but you know what you could do? You could do like a virtual open house on Facebook. So it just depends on how like, I don't know, how computer savvy and social media savvy you are. I mean, you could do like a little virtual tour and you could put it on your Facebook. Like you could do a Facebook Live. There you go, a Facebook Live or Instagram Live. And you could show your house around and then have it like on, on the internet. Um, I mean, I think there's a little bit of an exposure problem. You know, you can make it public. You know, the reason I say exposure problem is because probably who's going to see it? You know, probably just your friends. Um, so if there aren't like a crap ton of them that are real estate agents or whatever, like, I don't know, you know, you could probably have called your friend Susan or whatever and found out if she was interested in your house. Um, but maybe it sparked something in her and she knows someone who might want it. So... Yeah, I think doing like a virtual open house is definitely really workable. And you could make like a like a bit of like a real detailed video walkthrough of the property and then post it on like Facebook or put it on YouTube. And that would be nice. That would be nice for your showings. Mm -hmm. mm. And you know, if you did that, when you have the in-person showing, you could like send the person like a link to it you know, after their tour, like you could link, you could say, hey, I have some extra information, right? Like, cause maybe you would give them like a, maybe you'd make a flyer or something like that. Or maybe you'd have like a, an electronic flyer so that way you don't waste paper or whatever, or have to spend money to print it. And then you could send them that and then your video tour. Yeah, I think that, that could be, that could be working. Yeah. Okay, sweet. So next up, negotiation and contracts, right? Woo woo, you're gonna get a contract, you're gonna sell your place. Awesome. So if you like the video, please like, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. See you again soon, YouTube. Boom.